One of the most requested features in ChatCN UI has been layouts like admin dashboards with the sidebar or marketing page sections with cards and more. And finally, they have launched it and it's called Blocks. Blocks are ready-made components that you can use to build your apps. Copy and paste the layout from ChatCN into your application and then make any adjustments you want. You can remove stuff, you can change stuff. And of course, you would need to connect everything to the real data because the ChatCN UI blocks comes with the hard-coded data. They are fully responsive, accessible, and composable, meaning they are built using the same principles as all the rest ChatCN UI components. As of right now, they have dashboard layouts and authentication pages. Luckily, I am working on a finance dashboard application and I have a perfect spot to try one of those layouts. And as promised by ChatCN UI, you can just copy and paste it in your app. So we can check the source code of this block and we can press and copy it. Now let's jump to my overview page, which currently is totally empty. So I will just remove everything and paste the code we got from the ChatCN UI block. All right, so let's check what we got. So we have a component named dashboard, which uses a bunch of different ChatCN UI components. There can be situations that you would need to install some of those ChatCN UI components into your project in case you don't already have them. But in my project, I already have them. So for example, if in your application you do not have a batch ChatCN UI component yet, you can go to the ChatCN UI components website, pick badge and run this installation command and do the same for all the components you are missing. All right, so let's export this component. So export default dashboard. All right, so as you can see, this layout is meant to be used as a whole page, meaning it has like navigation bar, search bar, and all the content. But in my case, I already have the navigation bar. So let's modify this component. Firstly, let's get rid of the navigation bar. So let's collapse the header and remove it all together. And the navigation bar disappeared. Also, let's remove this main HTML tag and replace it with a simple div. So let's copy these Tailwind classes and paste them on the upper div and remove the main. Let's remove the duplicates. And let's remove the main closing tag. So now let's say I don't want to have four cards like the total revenue, subscription, sales and active now. So let's remove one of them. So here we have all four cards. So the first one is like total revenue and the last one is active now. So let's remove the last one. So the active now card disappeared, but now we need to adjust our grid layout. So instead of grid calls four, let's say we want only three columns. And here we go. So now let's make a change to the total revenue card. So currently total revenue card is displaying the sum in a simple div and I have a special component for displaying money. So let's add that. Let's pass the amount and we need to remove the comma because it's it needs to be a number. And now let's copy the class names and pass it to our component and remove this one. So from the first site, nothing really changed. But for example, if we would pass a negative number, this component would display the amount in red. Now in the transactions table, there is a button to view all. And turns out I also have a route called transactions. So let's make an adjustment to navigate the user on click to the transactions page. So let's update the href to navigate the user to transactions page. And now whenever the user clicks on the button, he is navigated to the transactions page. Now let's say I don't want to have a recent sales card because it's a personal finance dashboard application. I would rather display here the bar chart displaying my income and expenses for the last six months. So let's go ahead and make this change. Let's find this card. So it was called recent sales. Here's the card. So let's rename the title. And the title will be last six months income expenses. And as I mentioned, we don't want to have all of this stuff in this card. So let's remove it all together and let's display our bar chart. And our card was changed from the recent sales to last six months income and expenses displaying a bar chart. But overall, I really like the idea of ChatCN UI layout blocks. 
And finally, they have request a block feature. So if you have some specific block in mind, you can request it on the GitHub and maybe it will be created. And if you would like to follow the creation process of this finance dashboard application, I will link that playlist in the corner. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you like this video and go try out some ChatCN UI blocks. See you on the next one.